Hello, YouTube. It is about you. When it comes to relationships with other people, I love you more than coffee, but not always before coffee. It is about you. I know I just did a video explaining how it's not about you and it's important to find your place in relationship to others and that you don't find yourself in the category of toxic energy vampire taker one-sided those other things that you only take on a manageable level of friendship which you can give back what you get however some of us find ourselves way far gone on the other end of this pendulum of relating to other people some people forget that it's about them. I concluded my video by saying it's not about you. It's about them. In reference to keeping them in mind as much as you keep yourself in mind when it comes to your relationship. Not literally that it's all about them. Some people find themselves in a situation of codependency and people-pleasing. Some people find themselves here unconsciously, unintentionally. They didn't know they were coming to such a place. They may be unaware they even operate in this way. And some people came here... caught up in a storm they didn't understand and they weren't equipped for, such as being close to someone with an addiction. Some people have sick family members that they have to take care of and most of their life consists of caretaking for others plus trying to balance their own life. Some people uh, are in a situation of being single parents and they may not be in a situation of being single parents, but they may feel as though they're a single parent because the other parent doesn't do much parenting. And so they end up feeling overcome, overwhelmed with their children. They love their children. They love their caretaking. They love the person with whom they are enmeshed or they wouldn't be enmeshed. Or they're just <coughs> run-of-the-mill people-pleasers who will jump when you say jump, run when you say run. They will allow you to take advantage of them. They will allow you to be at a beckoned call. They will allow you to mistreat them. They will allow, 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 allow without a healthy set of boundaries. And besides the enmeshment, the codependency, those that are in extreme caretaking positions where they find themselves unable hardly to carve out any time for themselves and constantly serving another uh, sick family member or a large family that you're supporting pretty much with your own energies. Whether you're subservient on your job and allowing them to give you extra hours, extra hours, extra hours, extra hours, extra hours, and you never say anything. Maybe your salary and you're being overworked and not given the hours and days off that you were promised. You don't say anything. Maybe you're the one they always call in because you accepted it once 
and maybe you're not a workhorse. It was just you being good to them once or twice, and now it's a given, and you can't find it in you to stand up. And then there's average people who have a tendency to lose themselves in their relationships with others. It may come from many different places. Uh, it may come from just a genuine desire to care and you are too caring and you forget to care for yourself. However, it is about you because you matter as much as they matter and you can't give out what you don't have to give out. If you burn up all your energy, if you burn up all your reserves, if you're not getting built back up, if you're neglecting yourself, if you're not providing for, loving for, caring for, nurturing for, focused on your equal portion in the relationship and your relationship with yourself, you can't possibly be giving good things back to these other people that you so desperately want to please, to help, to nurture, to care for. If you are a burnt, frazzled, resentful, exhausted mess, you have to take care of you. You have to learn healthy boundaries. You have to learn to be able to say no. You have to learn who to say yes to, when to say yes. You have to be okay with people being not okay with it because sometimes people are going to get frustrated that you said no. But if someone leaves or ends a friendship or relationship with you simply because you said no, they're not truly worth having a relationship or a friendship with. You don't always have to agree. You don't always have to be there. That's not how it works. It's not all about them. It's about us. It's about relating. And you are a very valuable aspect of that equation. It, <coughs> excuse me, it is about you. Make time for yourself. You are worthy and important just as you are, because you are. You don't have to take on so much unless you have to take on so much. And even if you have to take on so much, try to enlist other people to help you, to relieve you when caregiving burdens that you require to take on become too much. Find yourself codependent or enmeshed in another person or losing yourself in a relationship. Uh, therapy, Al-Anon, that's unhealthy and it will only get worse. Um, you are you, they are them. It's really important that you maintain your you-ness because without your well-charged, well-rested, well-invested, well-loved, well-understood, well-cared for, healthy, secure, solid, complete person, you have no gas in the tank for anyone else. And if you do have gas, it's like gas, like stinky gas. You have to be in a good place to be in a good place with other people. So if you find yourself neglecting yourself, period, and especially for other people, or you find yourself continually giving, 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 and not receiving, you need to be strong, realize you are worthy and worthwhile, and cut out some people who are not reciprocating friendship with you. Set healthy boundaries. You, we teach other people how to treat us, so expect from others to be treated with a certain degree of 
respect and reciprocity. And if you're not getting that, engage them. Let them know. Some people just don't know what they don't know. And they don't understand that they're running you ragged. And that you're feeling like you're getting, you know, the life sucked out of you. You're always giving and you're not receiving. You need to learn to trust yourself that you have rights, you have a voice. Not everyone has to like you. Even if you try, not everyone's going to like you. But you can try yourself to death. <laughs> death of identity, death of joy, death of energy, death of emotion. So... A needle and some thread, I'm saying so a lot. Essentially, both things are true. It's not about you. But it is about you. In the morning, I love you. I love my partner. I love my cat. I love humanity in general, but I'm not engaging, not even over the phone, not answering my door, not associating, not speaking until I've made a few stumbly trips to and from my coffee pot and nurtured my caffeine habit to an appropriate degree. So that I feel a more physical equilibrium. Then we can engage. This is a small, small example of self-care. You have needs. And your cup needeth to run over for you to spill it onto others. You have to fill yourself up. You have to demand rights. You have to surround yourself with the right people. You have to give people a break because you, we treat, we train people how to treat us. And so if people are mistreating this, you need to first give them a chance and explain what your needs are. Identify and explain what your needs are. You need to recognize that it's not okay to burn yourself at both ends and burn yourself out. Um, and that it's not just about them. It's about us. It's about relating. That's why it's called a relationship. It's not just about them. It's about you. Because you are valuable, important, worthy of love. And decent relationships, real relationships with others and with yourself. And in order to do that, you need to realize that it's also about you. Love you guys. Bye YouTube. Balance. All things in balance. Overlapping circles. Love others. Love yourself. Two complete people have a healthy, fulfilling relationship. You're not meant to complete people, just like they're not meant to complete you. Love you guys. Bye. Back to work. Real work. Not fun work like this. Love you guys. Bye YouTube.